Check it out, folks. Back at it again with another great chef, right? I got my buddy right here, Ty. You guys might know him from Instagram, known as, what, Chef Ty, right? Chef Ty. Right, so listen, you guys check him out. His name is probably underneath him right there. You know what I'm saying? So look, go by, check out what he do. He creates and cooks right in my realm, probably your realm too. Now, with that being said, we finna do a, what is this? A, a, a crunch wrap. Right, hey, you gotta say Supreme though. A Supreme crunch there wrap. You, you gotta say that. So check it out. I'm not finna over talk it. We finna get right into it. All right, so look, check it out. I want you guys to come on here and take a look at this right here, right? So, I'm getting ready to go ahead and, you know, uh, season my ground beef, which is like, that's the key. You want them to taste great and all of that, it starts right here, right? And fresh ingredients, am I correct? Yes, you're right. Okay, so look, I'm gonna be using the flat top. Listen, I got it divided up, hot zone here. So an imaginary line goes here, over here is hot. This is what I'm gonna do all my cooking. And over here is where I keep everything warm. All right. Are right, you good? Yep. So good. I'm gonna turn it over to you and let you go ahead and do your thing because we don't use pre-shredded, uh, uh, yeah. cheese, right? Yeah, we so we're going to freshly grate up our cheese like grandma used to do. So, as I was stating earlier, listen, we got to put some seasoning in here. That's two pounds of that 80-20, right? Now, you don't want to, like, overwork your meat, right? You don't want it to be just, like, compressed and all of that. I like for it to be this way. And, when, listen, when you're using my seasoning, you guys can come in and take a look at that. That's that beef seasoning. When you're doing that beef, you want to have this. This right here makes for some amazing flavor, right? What I like about it, just along with the fact that it tastes great, but the fact that you can like look at it and you can see it in your, you know, your meat or whatever you season it. You can tell if you got it throughout. So I'm just really kind of like just folding it over, trying to keep it not so dense. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of this, you know, vegetable oil down right here. Look, I'm just gonna move this around. Even though I'm not over here on this side, I like to keep my grill a little bit oil, right? Now, while I'm doing that, right? We're just gonna take this, no particular way, and just drop this on the top, right? Now I'm about to go ahead and straight up this lettuce. All right. Cut the stem off. Throw it out of the way, you don't need that. So after you go ahead and dice up the lettuce, you're gonna take it and transfer it to the bowl. We're gonna let this sit to the side. And we're going ahead and go ahead and start cutting up the tomato next. So we'll cut the tomato. The way I like to cut my tomato, I cut the stem off. Show me something. Butt. Let me see your skill. And I'll take it and take the guts out of it. Ah, I see that. That way you don't have that mushy. Exactly. I don't like that part. Okay. That's the nasty part. I got you. I got Cut you. the guts out of it. All right. And then you go ahead and slice it. Hey, you like that knife right there, man? I love this knife. This is very sharp. Yes, sir. Maybe hey, you gonna let me get one of these knives? Oh, for sure. <laughs> gonna dice up the onions. Throw the bad boys right here on the grill. There you go. Caramelize them up. All right, folks. So as you saw, you know, Chef Ty, he went ahead and did the, the sous chef thing, right? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this together. I don't wanna take the onions all the way down like that. And I left some of the onions, check it out. I left some of the onions raw. Cause when you say supreme, they kinda like come like that. But for me, you know, I like to like put a little heat on my onions, right? Okay, Ty, do your thing, man. Come on I, in here with that. So I know what we use here seasoning. We're gonna put the Luxury Love one there. A Little bit of extra love. We got some pepper, got some paprika, we got some cumin. Okay, so look, we got the fire right here. Now, what's the next thing we're gonna do? We're gonna pull out the, the wraps. Now, don't forget, I got this all on super low. That on, okay. We're gonna pull the wraps out. All right. That's how we're gonna assemble the, these things right here. I'm gonna slap it down. Boom. Now, this is the part right here that you gotta pay attention to, folks. So, everybody. Let me go ahead and get that out. Yeah, there you go. Stay tuned. Look, I mean, get closer, looking closer to how we do this here. You got your nice, you got what is it, a crunch wrap? <laughs> crunch. Hey, Take it's it. about to be a crunch wrap. It might be a crunch wrap. <laughs> right, right, right. Right now, the soft wrap. <laughs> right, right, right. So now you sit it here. And just lay it right and there. And lay it right there. There you go. 
and let that bad boy toast on that side. And once it toasts on that side and get nice and crunchy, you're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna take it off of there, you're gonna cut down the middle, and it's gonna look nice and beautiful in the middle. Now check this out, Chief. I'm finna go in here right now and get down and do me. You know what I mean? I wanna show, do this. Show me what you got. Show me your I'm artwork sure over here. Lord. Yeah, I gotta show you. You did it a little differently. I'm gonna come with my little cheese right here. Okay. Because I like the little bite, and it's kind of like hold it together too, right? True, true. Just a little bit of this right here. All right? I'm gonna still come with this for the flavor. That's why we chose that, right? A little spicy cheese, just to put some on there. I put it in the middle, because when I smash it down, you know it's gonna spread, right? Now I'm gonna leave it like that. Now I'm gonna come with this piece right here, right? I don't wanna like make nothing break, but I'm gonna push it down. I like to get flat like this, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, for just a little bit of a technique. Now, oh, I see what you did. Now I'm gonna come with this little bit of a shredded lettuce, you know what I mean, just a little bit. We just put this on here like that. Right? <clears throat> Don't need a whole lot. You gotta have some tomatoes. You gotta have them. Gotta have the onions. Get that extra crunch to it. Yes, it's all about that texture. Right? So if you guys pay attention, remember I smashed down, it's nice and full. Right? So now we'll take this piece that we have right here. We just push this down again like this. And hopefully I can come back over the top like this. Ah, I'm gonna do it the way you did it. Oops. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And this one here, like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take it around like this. It's Put just a little, little bit of oil here, real quick, so it can help it be. There you, know. you go. Okay. If you guys look at it, if it don't look like a stop sign, something wrong. All right, man. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. I'm about to cut it open. Look at that. Layers on layers. Supreme. Crunch wrap. So check it out, folks. I got a smile on my face because I'm super happy. You guys seen the results. Listen, these are super easy. Now, here's the trick. Stay with us. The reason we made these, because listen, we're doing something epic. I'm going to let him go ahead and tell you what we're making. Tomorrow, we're making some Cajun seafood cornbread dressing. Hey, did you hear that, folks? That's a whole mouthful. What I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to go in and get one of these because listen, it's, it's break time. Here. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Thank you, AB for allowing me to come here and cook with you. You guys can follow me and find me on TikTok and Instagram. My handler is at, at Chef Ty, or Chef underscore Ty 951. Hey, he couldn't have said it better myself. So check it out, folks. You know how I do. I'm out. Peace.